Hey guys. So I thought I would just give you a TTC update. I am to DPO today and this is month seven. And I don't really have any feeling particularly what will be the outcome. Um, obviously the timing and all of that is appropriate. So we will see. One thing that kind of did frustrate me this cycle was the OPKs never were positive. The line would be a little bit darker, but it never was officially a positive one. So that was really annoying because I don't know if I was just missing the surge or if, I don't know, you know, like I was doing them at the same time at 2 p.m., which is when I always do them. I use the first response OPKs. But I never saw it actually officially be positive. So I went ahead and took that out of my fertility friend um, chart because I knew that if it showed negative this entire time, it could possibly throw off fertility friend um, pinpointing ovulation, even though my temperatures are appropriate. So I took that out. But it was just, it's weird, you know, you, you use those and you're like hoping that they work to your advantage and then you don't see an actual positive test and so it's kind of like, what the heck, did I just waste my money on these, you know? I don't know. A lot of months I get a positive and uh, this month and last month I didn't, so I don't know. I have no idea. Do you have any particular feelings or anything to add? Who, me? Regarding our trying to have a baby number five. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was your fertility friend. <laughs> hey, you're my most important other half, okay? <laughs> but how does that make you feel as, like, the man? Well, I was just joking. You know, do you feel like this is all just so weird and you don't understand any of it? Or do you feel like after seven months you kind of, like, are used to some of the things that I do and the charting and all that stuff that we never did when we had our four boys. Hmm. Well, I feel like very confident in all the choices you're making. Well, I guess that's a good answer. <laughs> You know, it's frustrating because, and I talked about this in my first vlog um, regarding TTC, my doctor said we're not going to test you for anything or test weighing sperm or anything like that until you guys have been trying for a year. Well, it's seven months this month and I don't know, for some reason I just have it in the back of my mind that I would love to have my progesterone checked. It's just kind of like, I guess because in some of the some of the other women on the fertility friend um, board that I'm on on Facebook, there's a group for that, uh, they all look at my temperatures and they tell me that my progesterone could possibly be low and so that's kind of just in the back of my mind, you know, since I did the surrogacies and all that, but we had four boys with no issues, so I'm probably just thinking about it too much, I guess. Kind of yeah. hard not to think about something though when you want it, you know what I mean? Well, we have to change our perspective. Our perspective back then was, oh my gosh, I hope we aren't fooling around and going to wind up getting pregnant again. And presto, we can get pregnant. Now we're trying, so we have to go back into that mindset of like, if it happens, it happens. If trying not to yes. get pregnant, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's a lot to easier to, to try not to, and then we end up pregnant. I Let's hear what just you're do saying. it twice as much as we normally would and tell ourselves we're not trying to get pregnant and see what happens. Oh my gosh. I had a feeling you'd probably say something like that. Anyway, that's the update. So we'll see. Uh, like I said, I don't really know, but if anything happens and I have a positive test, you guys will know about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.